My name is uh, Andrea Muscat and uh, I'm director of, uh, for the development of the network security products at GFI Software Limited. And uh, I'm here today to present uh, some of the key features we are uh, releasing in our next version product of GFI Langard Network Security Scanner 8. So this product is pretty much aimed towards the security administrators out there who have pretty much a lot to do, which I would say everyone has. So uh, what does this product do? Network Security Scanner is something which uh, scans your network for vulnerabilities like uh, security scanning vulnerabilities and checklists. It will do network auditing, also like visualizing, help you visualize which applications are installed, which users are installed. We'll get to talk about a bit this uh, later on. And we also do a patch management module in it. So this, uh, we'll be talking about a uh, three product in one uh, deliverable complete with reporting which wraps it up uh, in a one deliverable and solution uh, for your security scanning needs. So moving on a bit into the product, the reason why we are going to be talking, we're talking about and presenting a solution of three products in one is that we at GFI do not believe that separate products are actually delivering enough on uh, the needs of security administrators. Just because you are scanning for your vulnerability checks only doesn't mean that you are secure. Just because you're scanning for patch management and your systems are fully patched doesn't mean that you are secure. Just because these two are being taken care of separately doesn't mean that you don't have devices connected to your network like wireless devices, USB sticks, whether users are given administrative rights which they shouldn't have. So all of these three points are very key features and towards saying yes, my network is secure, or hey, I should do something about this. So here we are presenting a product which performs these three functions and integrates the results together to present to you the results of those scans and gives you a realistic view of saying, hey, your network is secure, 50% secure or 70% secure, it depends, depending upon the information we would find within our network security vulnerability scanner results our network auditing results and our patch management results. So this is like a bit what LNSS does, delivering one solution, one entry point where you have one management access to getting this information and the scanning results. So what's new in this version 8? While we have been doing these three integrated solutions uh, for quite some time now, we, the version 8 supports some serious updates towards in each of these uh, sections, mainly our vulnerability scanner. Uh, we have uh, integrated uh, technology within the vulnerability engine which is able to use the OVAL definitions. OVAL stands for Open Vulnerability and Assessment Language. So basically this is a group of data definitions which is uh, funded by the Homeland Security Department through which it uh, basically says these are the checks I would check for. So uh, what we did is we got hold of these definition files, we have interpreted them and understand them and also made it possible to use these definitions within our product. So what you get out of the box is the GFI checks, which we do by default, the patch management, which is done by default, and also we check for all of the checks which the Homeland Security is also recommending for you to scan. So now we said, now what? What are we going to do about this? So if I'm the security administrator, where do I go for information? What do I do? Where can I find external people who have already worked with this problem? So through the integration with OVIL, we, it also happens to be CVE compliant. So with CVE compliance and the uh, OVIL definition files, each of these vulnerability checks has a unique ID. So you can use that unique ID to search for more information on the internet. So this is what you get in Network Security Scanner. You scan the network, you get the results, you get a description by GFI saying this is what happens, and if you want to find out more about it, this is where you can get the more information. And we provide external links to other community resources and information sites which you can use to your, for your pursuit. So moving on quickly on like this vulnerability scanning, and which also reminds me, we also added support for the SANS Top 20. What this means is that we have a technology also which can check for the SANS Top 20 issues for 2005 and 2006 and we're also cross-platform. 
so we can check for vulnerabilities within Windows machines, Linux machines, Solaris, and also Macintosh machines, which uh, are pretty much ne are never mentioned, but they're pretty much market which we think are growing in size uh, in industry adoption. So moving on, we said the product does vulnerability scanning, network auditing, and uh, patch management. So when it comes to patch management, we already had a pretty powerful uh, engine which can support all of the 38 languages of Microsoft. And uh, we said, okay, what's missing? And actually our customers were telling us what's missing. We did not have a uh, patch rollback, so you uninstall the patch if you couldn't, so now we've implemented it. And also one thing which people were always telling us is, hey, once Microsoft released the updates, why don't you just download them? And they were right. So actually we just uh, listened to our customers' feedback and said, and implemented patch rollback and uh, also download of the, of the patches. One more thing which we did, which uh, we realized that when we were talking to our customers, is the problem of laptops. So when customers, uh, I don't know, customers, employees come in and leave with uh, their laptops. So once an administrator rolls out a patch deployment session, the laptop may not necessarily be connected at that moment. So what we do is implement a technology which will detect when the laptop, uh, when the machine which should receive an update is not connected, and take no worries, we'll just take note of this feature of the, of the missing computer, and we will deploy the updates as soon as the computer is reinstalled, is reconnected to the network, which is much more in tune with what the security administrator needs to do, remain focused on what's going on, and once a command is issued to a tool set, leave it up to the tool set to get the result in place. So the last part of the puzzle would be the network auditing, the one which checks which users are installed, which uh, people are uh, members of the administrators group, which devices are connected to the network, in, to the computer, including wireless devices, a very important aspect over here to get to know about, and any other rogue service or server which is running on the system. Now, being informed on what's going on in the network is a good thing. Security administrators need to know the stuff. However, we also feel that if we provide us, they also know that uh, what should be there and what should not be there. So with Network Security Scanner, we have implemented a whitelist blacklist system for both uh, applications and uh, devices through which you can decide, say, uh, configure LNSS to say, hey, if this application is installed, such as, let's say, uh, I have a P2P uh, application on my network, I want to be notified immediately. That can be a security vulnerability philosophy for or policy of, for the company, so hey, no problem. Enter the name of the application. If it is detected on the network during a scan, it will uh, inform the administrator about a security vulnerability which needs to be checked up on. Or he can call and, hey, why do you have this uh, application installed? It's not really secure for us to have these things installed, so please uninstall it. Or anyway, he would like to handle the situation. So we also took this aspect a bit further. While we were working with applications, we said, hey, there are different types of applications and some of them are crucial towards the administrator. So, that, okay, like example, uh, anti-spyware or antivirus uh, software. It's really common for uh, users to just turn off the antivirus to have better performance at the repercussion of all of the security system implemented. So what we did with Network Security Scanner is this. Check for installed applications. If it is an application uh, which is installed, see whether it is on the whitelist or on the blacklist. If it is on either one of them, already we're gonna react. But also, if it is a security application, like an antivirus or an antispyware, we will check that application to make sure that it is running, and it is also running with the latest definition files. So this is really much into the works lifestyle of what a security administrator does. He needs to be updated about the security vulnerability status of it, so checking uh, the vulnerability checks and patch management, and also what's connected to the network. So what is the key aspect which remains here? The key aspect which remains is how do we actually inform the administrator about these things? Also, it's also a situation where the administrator needs to present the results to his uh, uh, employees. So, oh, sorry, to his uh, bosses. So what we have done is uh, we have a fantastic reporting module which can have on-screen uh, reports, printable reports, customizable reporting, all in a one single download which is just available off the GFI website. So please, I welcome you to download the product and send us any feedback you may have on our work.
Thank you very much.